This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Gira. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. This is why you don't keep koi in tanks. My dude over there looks like he's seen some things. Like his eyes are now just permanently wide. I guess that's true because he's a fish and he doesn't have eyelids. But anyway, look at the size of that fish. It is pretty much half the length of his tank. That fish and all his buddies in there, they need to go in an actual pond. OMG, how can they have those fish in there without a pleco to eat the poo? <laughs> you gotta have that obligatory pleco. Can it even turn? That's why the other fish are there. They help him turn and bring him to the food. That tank isn't even big enough for a betta. What were they thinking? Okay, now these guys are just being trolls. I, I get it, okay. A big thank you and shout out to all my patrons, Corvus Austin, Daniel Thomas, Cranium Rex, Spoiled Splendid, K, Ferraris Aquatics and Exotics, Clara, and Hydrogen Dragon. I can't do this without you guys and you are helping me push out more content. And in case you missed my PSA in the last episode, I will be posting some of the viewer submitted tanks onto my Instagram. So go follow me on that, link is on description. If you don't see your tanks in the video, it might be on Instagram. Guys, if you ever see this tank, just just run the other way. I don't care which way, but the opposite way would be great. If someone asks, like, why are you running? Just, just keep running. Don't tell them, just keep running. These are too small for even shrimp or snails. I don't even want to put anything in there. This guy is putting two betta fish instead of three uh, because probably the middle one died and then they put a skull. Like you can just see how much space these bettas actually have. It's so cramped. Yeah, that's mood. Yuck. I've had birds before. Their feathers fall out all the time. They shed a lot and there's dust. Having your bird take a bath in your fish's water, that just seems really gross. Uh, thank you, next. Hello, my name is Swim Shady. <laughs> this is like if Eminem just gave up on rapping. He'd just be like a little sad fish on the bottom of a small, small Tupperware container with pink gravel. Contrary to the name, this fish is swimming no more. It's lived a tough life. It is now just shady. All right, so uh, more people are realizing this. I called this out like a few FDR episodes ago that like people who spell names of the fish incorrectly also are incorrect in their care. Now this guy's like Gurami and he's being called out. Why is that people who can't keep fish also can't spell the name of the fish right? Bittersweet indeed. Oh, and one random fish. Never heard of that species before. Buying all the fish in Walmart. So uh, you can search this up on YouTube, but I'm not gonna show the video It's basically about this little kid who probably doesn't know any better I'm not gonna like totally blame him for it because obviously his parents let him first of all You never want to buy any fish from Walmart no matter how sickly they look if nobody buys any fish from Walmart I guarantee you they'll stop selling because they're looking at their analytics, right? And this guy buying all the fish from Walmart just told Walmart that wow uh, you're Fish sales skyrocketed. Let's let's go ham on getting more fish and then stocking the whole store with it again. So basically you just doubled the amount of fish that are going to die. Secondly, what this guy did is he took all these fish back home and he didn't have tanks for it. He just had little containers here and there. This is why if you really want to, uh, you know, do something good and rescue the fish, you gotta let them die so that the store doesn't think they are selling fish and they should stock more. Yeah, so get the word out there to everyone. Stop buying fish from places that you don't like. We got this tank sent in from Jester's Aquariums. What a beautiful little tank here. Awesome carpeting skills and got the cholo wood over there. Some bigger plants in the background. Very understocked. There's a little heater there, filter, and then some of the lucky bamboo in the filter. Helping out with the excess nitrates. This is such a cute little tank. The water is super clear. Everything's being done right. Maybe just a bit more plants covering the background. And also consider some centerpiece uh, hardscape, such as a nice piece of rock or driftwood. Awesome tank though, 4.65. Great job. This next tank sent in by Rakith. Oh, you got, you got that, you got that endler right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's not fair, man. I'm biased towards Endlers. I see it. I, it's right there. Just one, though. But no, I really do like the hardscape. You got some uh, river rock. You got that, like, stumpy-looking driftwood with some of the leading lines. That really works out. I like the placement of it. Some big plants here and there. Some little plants in the middle of the rocks. And that's a really accurate depiction of a river setting. Now, I think those are Serpia tetras. That's a glowfish, um, some kind of Daniel. Not a super big fan of those fish. But overall, I'd say this is a pretty solid scape. 4.5 out of 5. Good job. A little bit of the same theme going on here by Wyatt Allen. A little more lush with the plants. I think they're going to fill out even more as time goes on. And this is also kind of like a river theme. There's some bigger rocks scattered around. There's a little path. I really like the way you've uh, taken some different sized gravel to create more depth. I like that it's really understocked and it's just got two uh, dwarf Grammys. They do look pretty happy and this is a very calm, soothing tank to look at. 4.5, very good job. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of FTR. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And don't forget to get your hands wet. <laughs>